Hey guys, my name is GK. Ask anybody who passed associate exam, they will tell you the importance of IAM in the exam. So you can easily knock off three to four questions on IAM if you get them. By end of this video, you're going to learn the important concepts of IAM that will be helpful for your exam. So before I go into the console and go through the IAM, I'll, I'll ask you a quick question. Pause the video and try to answer in the comment section. So you are part of the cloud governance team and you have to onboard a machine learning team, which means that you have to give uh, full access to Dialogflow. Uh, for that team. So using the principle of least privilege. Select one option out of these four options. So how would you give them permission? I, uh, are you going to give them permission by creating a custom role, a predefined role, a primitive role, or a managed role? So by end of this video, you will know whether your answer is correct or not. So now let's dive into the console and let's look into all these roles. Um, and then I'm going to give you a link that you must read before you go into the exam. Let's go to the console. All right, guys, so at a very high level, there are three important concepts. So one is policy, members, and roles. So policy binds like one or more members to a role. So if you want to uh, get a policy document of your project, um, I'm going to paste the command right here. So that's for the policy. The member is, you know, you, you have service account or Google account. When I log into my console, I use a Gmail address. So that's a member or you know, when you create a service account, that's another member. So members are like service account or your user ID or group or even like cloud entity or G Suite domain. So G Suite domains are generally used in your companies where you have an organization and stuff. Um, and if you're using Google groups, you can also create like multiple members together and you can put it as part of the group and you can create a member. So these four are the members. So roles are where you give you know actual permissions collection of permissions create a role so the main important concept which is most frequently asked in the exam are around roles so not with the policies much or not with the members much but with the roles itself when we talk about roles so there are three kinds of roles in google cloud iam so one is primitive role so the name itself uh, says it's primitive because you know it historically it was created when the google cloud uh, started so the primitive roles are viewer, editor, or owner, right? For instance, I am, you know, when I log into my console, I use my email address. I'm the owner of the whole project or, or the whole account. So I have full permissions to either create new projects or destroy my projects. So that's the owner role. You have editor as well as you have viewer too. So viewer is a read only role. An editor is a step down of um, owner and a step above of viewer. So it has like edit permissions. The predefined roles are more fine grained roles. So what Google has done is it created a roles, including certain permissions. For example, you know, you want to do an operation on the storage bucket or you want to perform operations on the functions. Go, if you go through the IAM, you will know that, you know, there are predefined roles for those services, you, which you can directly use. You don't have to collectively create, you know, permissions that are required through custom roles. Now, talking of custom role, custom role is commonly used in enterprises. The reason for that is sometimes predefined roles or primitive roles can be too broad for us to give to the users. So what we do is we create multiple smaller permissions and create that as a role, a uh, custom role. Uh, for instance, you know, I have to give to my uh, new member in the team who will do storage read um, storage write he also should have permission for executing a function right so we are talking about permissions from two or three different services which cannot be done through predefined roles so now if you go through the console i'll show you what exactly i'm talking about so when i type this command so this command gave me the whole policy document that's part of my project so it has members, it has roles and service account, and, and this is not very important. Like I've said, the most important thing is let's go to IAM. So as you can see here, so these are all the members, right? So you have service accounts here and I'm the owner. So you have my email address here um, and I'm the owner and you'll also see editors which are part of the primitive roles. Now, when you see the owner permissions, you can see the amount of permissions that you can, uh, that are listed here. 
1616 and editor is editor has 1453 so there are uh, these roles are very broad roles now if you see other service account roles uh, for instance um, let's take serverless robot prod iam service account right now this has cloud run service agent which is a predefined role we do not have any custom roles because i haven't created one yet so let's say if you want to create a custom role you know go to the role section here and click on create role let's say i've selected ga and now i can add the permissions to this role so what i want to do is i want to add you know cloud storage permission so you can filter by service storage okay so i can see permissions here right so i want that person to read objects or list objects you know add now i'll add one more permission to cloud functions invoke or list right so now when i created this role i'll create it as a new custom role these are the permissions that we gave and create okay so now we have a new custom role so if you go back to our iam and let's say that you want to give to any service account so you can give that permission here and you will see My new custom role here and then you can assign uh, this role to that service account and this applies to like i've said any members you know it can be a google group or you're going to create a new user with a new email address you can create that and then you can assign that uh, custom role to that user so coming back to the question that i have asked uh, if you see that question carefully you know you will often see that in exam two with the keyword called uh, plp like principle of least privilege so what is principle of least privilege it basically means that whenever you give permissions you give only permissions that they require instead of giving broad permissions like for instance if a person has to read objects in a bucket or if a person has to execute a function or list all the functions you would not want to give person a cloud storage admin or uh, you know google cloud functions admin because that's too broad for that person. So you give what is required for that person to work. So that is the principle of least privilege. And in the exam, you will see this keyword coming up more and more. So the next and most important thing that I wanted to share with you all is this page. So go through these BigQuery roles at least uh, once. And you don't have to keep them or, you know, you don't have to practice them at all. You just make sure that, you know, what generally admin has, what editor has and what owner has. And you will, uh, you know, give, when you just give a glance of uh, these roles, you'll understand that whenever they have viewer, um, it would generally mean that you will have get list or, you know, uh, maybe export, which means that they can only perform like viewer operations. They cannot do any edit operations. You can make a calculated guess on the answers. So that's all for this video, guys. And I hope it is very helpful for you. Because I can tell you that if you go through this video and if you practice the questions and go through the roles um, and practice them over console, I can tell you that you can easily knock off uh, two to three questions from the exams point of view. And if you find this video very helpful, please click on like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all. Bye bye.